So you've just had a baby and you're in that postpartum recovery period. Now, for most women, it's that six week mark where the doctor clears them and they're ready to go back to activity. But what about that six weeks prior? And what means that you can go back to activity at that magical six week mark? I'm Dr. Ryan Smith, and I do a lot of work here at Recharge with postpartum women trying to get back into activity or physical fitness after giving birth. We don't want to make it as gray or as fuzzy or foggy for that. So we want to give you a checklist that you can kind of go through to see how am I recovering from uh, my pregnancy and how am I doing during postpartum recovery. So here's the checklist for you. Number one in the checklist is looking at bleeding. At that six week mark, you'll consistently get checked on and do you have any bleeding that remain from any potential tears you have from giving birth if you didn't have a C-section. And that's a great way to check in. If there still is any bleeding remaining, that's usually a way to be a little bit more cautious about going forward into your recovery or talking more to your OBGYN or doctor along those lines. Number two. Looking at incontinence, do you have any urinary incontinence throughout the day with sneezing, with certain activities, with certain movements, or are you able to slowly see that you're having a stronger ability to be able to hold on to those moments when you're sneezing or moving and are having a greater control of that? If you are, you know that you're moving and progressing and healing appropriately towards that. If not, it's a great conversation to begin with your local internal physical therapist or your OBGYN. Number three. Related to the incontinence is definitely going to be control of your pelvic floor musculature. Are you able to do a Kegel? Are you able to feel as though you're able to make a contraction happen and sustain it at least to a certain degree? Now, it might not be as strong or as powerful as it was before, but know that during the healing process of postpartum, this is something that will return back to a level that you had before. Number four. Diastasis recti in your abdominal wall. Now, regardless of the width of what your diastasis recti might be, it's more along the lines of how do you feel with your core and abdominal musculature? Are you able to get up and out of bed? Are you able to go upstairs or get into a slight squat position without feeling this sort of void or discomfort there? And if so, you're able to get back into activity a little bit better. Number five, last but not least, in your return to activity, are you experiencing any hip or back pain? Now, this might seem obvious, but for a lot of women, they're just told that pain is a normal part of the process. But if it's occurring with movements or you consistently get it in a regular pattern, know that you can go to your internal physical therapist or physical therapist, or even talk to your OBGYN about why you're still having this pain postpartum. And don't wanna go by the wayside of it's just part of the postpartum recovery. There are lots of things we can do in terms of your capacity and strength training to get you back. So to summarize for you, five things you can look at in your checklist. Number one, do you still have any bleeding from recovery? Number two, do you have any urinary or fecal incontinence that are going on? Number three, related to that, do you have control over a Kegel or your pelvic floor musculature to at least an extent within the recovery period? Number four, how is your diastasis recti? But more importantly, how do you feel in the overall control of your abdominal musculature and making sure it doesn't feel quite like a void and that you have some sort of strength there to do your daily movements? And last but not least, number five, do you have any hip or low back pain or other related aches and pains that we might be able to work on both from a rehabilitation standpoint before we get you back to moving? So if you're looking to get back into fitness, looking to get the back into moving confidently, look at those five things to kind of guide you in the right direction. And if not, at least ask your medical provider, your OBGYN, or go see us at Recharge as a physical therapist or your local internal physical therapist to help you through those checklist stages to make sure that you get back moving confidently and safely.